I get asked a lot whether the designer should use Framer or Webflow. And I thought, what is the better way to answer this question than to develop the same landing page in both platforms? And that's what I did. And today I will show you the result and tell you which platform I think is the best. So the landing page I will be developing is this. Uh, they have some interactions on the first screen, appearing this line, we have appearing these elements, we have some animations on this. Also, I thought that it's a great idea to animate these lines. Once you scroll, you can see how it changes. And then we have this animation here also. This is a tab block that have different tabs. And in both platforms, it's done differently. In Framer, it's done by native interactions. And Webflow, it has to use a code. So I will show you the process there as well. Because some of the people are stronger with code, others are with the interactions in Framer. For this section, it would be animated once you scroll. You can switch between sections, so you don't have to physically click on any tab. Of course, you can click and then you can switch, but in general, it will be by scroll. So when you scroll, you can switch between the tabs. And we have this footer, pretty easy just to show you how you can upload images and stuff like that. Just a few things to note before I show you the result, that this, this website was built from scratch but it's not how I do the most websites because the most websites, the most amount of websites I do by using Framer Marketplace. So Framer Marketplace, it's I think the biggest marketplace for website templates in the whole internet. So if I go here, you just literally Google a marketplace in Google and you go there and you see the whole templates that they have. So there's currently more than 2,200 templates. The biggest collection that I've seen for great looking template, not just some mediocre WordPress looking template. These look really good quality template. And the best part, most of them are free. So if I go here by filtering and I click free, I can see all of the templates. And the reason is uh, they are free, not because they are bad, but because the creators, they want to build their brand. They want to have more recognition in this space. So that's why they create the templates are for free. If I go here, for example, this template, I like it. It's um, e-commerce template. And uh, if I duplicate it to my account, once I copied it to my account, I can start changing the text. So let's say e-commerce products. And then we can preview it and have, have everything customizable. You can customize the picture, you can customize everything. And then once you're ready to publish, don't forget the most important thing because Framer has very good affiliate program. So if you go to Framer affiliate, you can get paid to create. You can sell templates or even just the websites that you've created, you can add your referral link and you keep 50% of all the profits. So you can promote and get 50% for every sale. Let's say you sell this e-commerce website. Let's say you build this e-commerce website and then once you're ready, you are sending it to the clients. You get, let's say you take for this website $2,000. So you get paid $2,000 for your client, from your client. And then once you send this website to a client, you include your referral link. And let's say this, uh, the client pays for a business website and he get like a launch website and it's billed yearly. So let's say 75 multiplied by, uh, by 12, right? You, he pay $900. And $900 divided by two, you get $450 just for nothing, just for using your referral link. To get that, you just sign up here on the Framer uh, referral partnership program. You just click here, you get get started for free. So you sign up, you became a creator. And then once there, you get your own link. So for example, this link and you can include it to any website that you're building. So let's say this is the link to the website that you want to send to the client. You just include it at the end and then you send to the client and you get paid 50%. So this is the great thing about the framer. And the other thing, as I mentioned, there is literally a lot of free templates that you can use. Obviously, most of the good templates will be paid because to set up uh, speed, to make everything optimized, to include some sales setup, it will be require some capital. So that's why good templates that have a lot of uh, energy put into it, a lot of time put into it. For example, this template, I really like how it looks like. 
Uh, it, it is paid, but it has some nice animation. It has some interactions. You can hover over things and you can see some great things. So yeah, this looks a little bit childish, I'd say. So I'm not sure if every company will use that, but it looks great. So I, I'm sure there's a lot of um, companies, businesses that wants to use this website. So yeah, this is a great marketplace and that's why I love Framer. That's why I've been using it for all of my project mostly. But now let's go to Webflow. So, and here is the this website built in Webflow. I'm just gonna show you how it's built. Uh, I'm gonna publish it and preview here. So this is the website in Webflow and I will show you after that in Framer. So all of the hover effects are pretty easy to build uh, on both platforms. You just have to use the standard interactions. This is also pretty easy to build. It's a scroll parallax effect. You just change the speed of lines uh, based on your scroll. Uh, this was also not hard. This part was really difficult in Webflow because it, it, it's not possible to create it by, by Webflow uh, standard interactions. You have to use code for this. So because once you click, then you can scroll down. And uh, I've had a lot of troubles building it. So I've used a lot of code. So as you can see there, it was like a few hours of back and forth trying to figure out why some code doesn't work because it had some problems, but now I think it looks pretty good. So yeah, um, also has interactions and has all of the different um, optimizations for phone, etc., etc. So yeah, on phone, these interactions work like this. So you can scroll down to see the rest of the sections. You can click through all of this section here and uh, click through all of the different galleries. So this is the Webflow. And let me just quickly open Framer so you can compare and uh, Decide for yourself which you like the most. Um, let me just find this website that I have done in Framer. So this is the website done in Framer. Let me just preview it. Very easy to do, no code required here. So all of this was is built in within one component. Uh, not really hard to do that, but yeah, just, uh, but it also works great. So if you can see, you can scroll through the sections and you can click through them as well. And you can scroll, everything works really well. So yeah, so I, personally from building the tab, the website, I think that Webflow has much more functionality. You can build much more thing. You can add a custom code, but Framer is way more easier because you can build, Framer was built for the designer. So it's very fast to do anything that you want to do. Very easy to customize everything very easy to but the other benefit is of webflow is that a lot of webflow templates have a good quality to them like they look very modern and if i go to landbook and if i go to templates here you can see that a lot of these templates are high quality templates that look more mature than the webflow more mature than the framer so if we take a look at this template that i just looked at framer it looks more childish than for example this template that a lot of similar templates look like this in webflow so they have a lot of pages here let's open home one you can see that it looks more corporate looks more well designed if i would say so uh, they have also some of the sas templates so if i open this also looking very great a lot of good interactions a lot of good animations so if i open it here you can see that it, uh, let me open uh, homepage one, for example. You can see that it looks more like a normal business would look like. It has very good iconography. It has very good typography. It has some nice uh, UI elements. So I think this would work much better in most cases than this uh, Framer website. And unfortunately, most of the templates in Framer look similar. Uh, I don't say that they look exactly like this, but they have similar vibe and similar feel. For some companies, good, but for some companies, you have to use Webflow because uh, look at the quality of this template. It looks so much more uh, sophisticated and so much more uh, well-designed, I would say, than the Framer templates. But uh, again, I've been using Framer for 90% of my projects and I've been enjoying it. You can build some custom designs there and uh, there is no problem about that.